Hey, Clear Tai Chi, member of the group. My name is Steve Robertson, and I wanted to post this for the page because I have things I want to say at the beginning of this group, just so it's laid out, and then what can come afterwards as the group grows. I think we have like 70 members right now. But I want to give my testimony as far as what Tai Chi has done for me and what I believe Tai Chi is and what it can do. And I just want to say I have been a student with Sifu Richard Clear for since April 2013. I found him in uh, trying to figure out what to do with this energy ball I had made and not really sure what it was, except that other people could feel it too. And so I wanted to know what it was. And I sent out an email to a few people, he was one of them, and he invited me to an energy healing seminar in April 2013. I had no idea how I was going to afford a $650, you know, tuition fee or whatever. And, but I knew it was going to happen. You know, you have one of those things where you know something's just going to work out. So I paid $150 in advance, not knowing how to get the other $500. Long story short, the Wednesday before the Friday of the seminar, I was at a company meeting um, with like five, 300 of us or 500 of us or whatever and they're giving out prizes for different things and I won the grand prize of a, of a an iPad of some sort and I sold it to my mom for 500 or for like $400 and I was able to make up the extra 100 or whatever so I got into seminar and just blown away with really what was shown immediately from the school of what is possible that most people wouldn't understand and at that point in time being a seeker of truth finding new things like this because really if you think about it since by the time you're 12 years old you've really learned everything there is to know like everything beyond that point is just something that you already know of like you can learn more about history but you know what history is you know what electricity is you, know, you don't know what everything you can do but you know what it is and so all these things you know what they are but and, and everything just is a continuation of that and then you suddenly learn that there's a way to heal people without touching them and that doesn't extend from anything else and there's lots of things like this in the school and in tai chi and when I came to the school like that, that was the beginning. Like as a truth seeker, I was so enraptured in that, that I immediately assumed that everybody else was like me and that would love to know this stuff if they just knew it was a possibility. And so I would go back to my work and show people and then be immediately disappointed that nobody wanted to pursue the possible, like what I did or like just the way I was made to be that way. Um, people would, you know, let me heal them or whatever with energy healing if they wanted to, but for the most part, it was just me. So it took about a year and a half for me to get over that. I was really disappointed in humanity at that point. But what this brings back with Tai Chi is Tai Chi isn't just relaxing and being song and soft and stress free and like, you know, you know, we can use it for martial arts and with that. But I don't believe the creators of Tai Chi had those primarily in mind. I think that's what we try to emphasize when approaching a population of people that don't know what Tai Chi is and we're trying to convince them to join in on the fun and so we have to say these things um, you know like stress relief well everybody wants stress relief and so that's what we give you know Tai Chi can do that or like you know three card mirage or whatever and all these things are good but as a members only group if we're really going to talk about like Tai Chi at its core like I believe that there were people that were spiritually enlightened and they were at this place, and they were like, how can we bring other people to this place? And they are like, well, in order to be this place, their mind has to be a certain way. It's like, okay, well, how can their mind be a certain way? I was like, well, we have to make sure their bodies are soft and soft, and so their mind can be free, and so the body has to be a certain way. And the question is, well, how does the body move? And then these, these forms were not made up. Like, it's very clear to see that the human body, on an anatomy level, flows these ways. Like, this is, like... There's only so many Tai Chi moves because there's only so many ways the body can be made to, to move in a way that it can stay relaxed. And so what we're actually learning here isn't just a martial art, isn't just a way to stay relaxed or somewhere have all these health benefits. It, it is very truly, and I think originally, a gateway path to spiritual enlightenment. And what you have to start out with when you do something like that is it has to be start with the physical because when you wake up in the morning, you can, you know, twinkle your fingers around and move and look left to right. And so the physical is what we have immediately capabilities of. So if we're going to change ourselves in a way that will eventually lead to that point, we have to change ourselves in ways we can control, which is the physical. 
And when the physical is sung relaxed and soft and is aware of the possibilities and the mind can come alive and move through that the expression. And when the mind can do that, you know, come alive however many months or years it takes, well then you can start working on spirit things. But even with spirit things, it's not the end. Like, and then I know there's, you've seen a video of the, the you know, progression of different, you know, states, you know, physical, you've got Li, Qi, Yi, uh, uh, Jing, Shen, and Boyd. Um, but then if you say, well, Boyd's the ultimate, well, what is Boyd? Like, okay, let's say you do all this stuff and get to Boyd. Are you still, are you going to be fulfilled? Like, like, what does it mean to, to live a life that's worth going through all the stuff and years of training? Like, what are you actually going for? And for me, it happened when I started the energy healing seminar, I was in a really bad place and I was not healthy. Um, I won't go into all of it, but I had a lot of issues, a lot of addictions, and the energy work immediately started undoing these things. Not only anything else, and see if you're not telling me anything, just by doing these practices, I immediately showed, I started to change. And when I, and that's when things started clicking in place, where I started understanding things that I'm saying here, I just want to make sure we're all on the same page, that the, Tai Chi is no small thing. It can't be compared to other fighting styles or other Qigong exercises, like it is by itself a very special thing and if we as a group, a members only group, are going to get this out here to other people, we need to have in our minds, you know, what it is and I guess I'm just making this video to make sure that we're all on a level that this is serious, like whether what we do here in this group is going to have rippling effects way into the future with people we don't even know or people they don't even know yet and it's not a toy like this is serious there's people out there that are hurting that are going to find tai chi and it's going to change their lives and one way or another this group's going to be a part of that so if if we're going to you know accept that responsibility it's just important that we keep in mind what these things are and i just want to make a video you know i'm sure you guys already know all this but it's easy to go about doing tai chi one way and you know forgetting like its true essence i guess and so i guess here's a reminder for myself and everyone else thank you for watching this video